Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you'll do really well. So today's video is one that has been highly requested for quite a long while now, and that is my wand collection. It's not the biggest collection, but there's enough here for it to be a collection, so that's that. Now, before we get started, if you would like, you can click the subscribe button to become part of our Weird Magic Online family. I also really like that I accidentally just magically picked the Elder Wand out of an entire bunch of wands. I feel like it chose me. Anyway, let's get on with it. I'm gonna show you all of these wands, where I got them from, whose they are, why I like them. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so this wand is really special because I went to Orlando, Florida and it was the first time that I ever went to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and I went to Diagon Alley and I headed straight for Mr. Ollivander's shop and I got chosen, which was so exciting, I nearly wet myself. But yes, this is the wand that chose me, it's an interactive wand so it has this is gonna take some of the magic out of it, but it has a sensor in the end, so when you're at the theme park, you can actually do magic around the park, which is super, super cool. But yes, this is the one I got, I like it. It's got a really nice sort of golden handle, and it's just, I like it. I feel as though it suits me very well. So this is my first and only wand that chose me. Moving on to some of the character wands from Harry Potter. So I have to start with this one. This is Harry Potter's wand and this one's really special because this was the first in my entire wand collection. Um, I was actually gifted this by the studio tour the first time that I ever went and I really did tear up to know that they'd give me my very first wand. It was a very magical moment, but yes, yeah, so I have Harry Potter's wand, which I do like. It's one of the more sort of rustic looking ones with the sort of chunky bark wooden handle. It's, it's very chunky. It's not the most exciting wand, but it's Harry's, so there you go. I'm actually gonna do this in the order that I got them. So next up, I got Ron's wand, and Ron's wand is not that dissimilar to Harry's wand. It's very bulky at the top, it's very natural and rustic looking, it's just like a big wooden bit at the end, but sort of a little bit less than Harry's. It's not, again, the most exciting wand, but I needed the sort of golden trio of wands, which is Harry, Ron, and Hermione. So yes, it's, it's quite nice actually, the actual wand is kind of like wibbly and wobbly and it feels quite nice. So yes, I have got Ronald Weasley's wand. You will never guess whose is gonna be next. That's right, it is Hermione Granger's wand. Now this wand, I fell in love with as soon as I laid eyes upon it. It looks really simple from far away. It looks straight and just like a very nice wooden wand. But upon closer inspection, there's actually these vines like ivy leaves that have been carved around the entire wand. I say carved. These are actually made out of resin, by the way. They're not made out of wood. Um, I wish that they were. But yes, this is a very elegant and pretty wand and it's definitely one of my favorites. Hermione just has a really pretty wand and I really like it. So yes, those are the Golden Trio's wands. Next up, I can't not talk about this. This is one of my all-time favourite wands, and I know that's really cliche to say because it's the Elder Wand, it's the most powerful wand in the world, but look at it. It's long, it's dainty, it's really thin, and it's just fun with all these little bobbles. I just think it's very fun to hold, like, I feel magical holding this. So yes, this is definitely one of my favourites, to be fair. They're all my favourites because I bought them all, but this one is just exquisite. I really, really like it. Good old Dumbledore. So yes, the Elder Wand is absolutely fantastic. Next up is of course Miss Luna Lovegood. I love Luna. In fact, I met Eviana Lynch a few weeks ago and my heart nearly plopped out onto the floor. But yes, this is Luna Lovegood's wand and I bought this. Fun fact, this is not Luna's original wand. This is her second one. But I don't think you can get hold of her first one design very easily. So I have this one. Now I bought this one because it looked to me like a tulip flower. Now someone told told me it was meant to be something else, but I don't remember, so if you know, let me know down in the comments, but I've always viewed it as a tulip, and I really, really like it. It's just very feminine, and it's quite a small wand as well. It feels really nice. So yes, I've got Miss Luna Lovegoods. Next up, 
is a Slytherin wand, which may surprise some of you guys, since as most of them so far have been Gryffindor, with the exception of Luna. Now, there is a reason why I bought this Slytherin wand, and that is because Alan Rickman passed away. I bought this after Alan Rickman sadly passed away to remember him. I just, you know what, I'll be completely honest here, his death really took me by surprise and I my reaction surprised me. I don't really care that much about celebrities, um, but like I'd never met Alan Rickman, but because I have such a big bond with the Harry Potter films, it really affected me and I broke down in tears. So I bought this wand in memory of Alan Rickman, Snape. And you know what? It's a very nice wand. It's straight black and it's got some beautiful sort of decorative carving in the handle in two little chunks, kind of like a little totem pole. But yeah, so this is why I bought my very first Slytherin wand, which I do really like. I like this wand. Um, so yeah, that's that. I have three more in my collection and they all come from Fantastic Beasts rather than Harry Potter. So the first one I have to begin with is Newt's wand. And this was actually given to me by my friend Gary. He went to an event and I think, he, yes, he got this for me before they were ever released. So it was like one of the really early ones. It didn't even come in a box, it was that sort of early. So Newt's wand, it's very simple. It's very sort of rustic and wooden and he wanted it to be really simple to reflect that he loves being in nature and looking after animals and that's why the design is what it is. And then in here, I think it's Mother of Pearl? in there sue me if i'm wrong but yes that's what the silver bits meant to represent so yes i really do like his wand it, it kind of looks like a little flute but it's very very dainty i like that it goes from thick to really thin um yes i like newt's wand i really love newt and i can't wait for the next fantastic beast film it's going to be such a long wait next up is probably my favorite out of the fantastic beast character ones and you will see why um look at it it's beautiful this is queenie goldstein's wand and this is just beautiful if i had to pick out of all of these ones to have one that would be like me it would be this one um it's black and that's not where the fun is the handle is where the fun is this is like a beautiful pearl shell and it's got like this blue tone in it and it's just so pretty. And it also has like this gold sort of collar crest thing there as well, but it's just so lovely. Like it's just magical. This one feels magical because of the pearl-ness of it, the pearlescence. Um, it's very, very nice and yeah, one of my favorites. I told you, they're all my favorites. I'm like, this one's my favorite. No, this one is, th they're all my favorites. Mm. Now my final and last wand from Fantastic Beasts and in my entire wand collection is this one. And this one belongs to the president, Sarah Fina Pickery, I believe her name is. Oh, sorry if I got that wrong. Um, yes, so this is her wand. Now, I really like this because it looks really modern. In fact, all of the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them character wands look more modern than the ones that you'd find in Harry Potter, which is really interesting because Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them was based in the 1920s and Hogwarts is like now. So I find it really fascinating that their wands look more modern and but i like it i love them a lot this one's really nice because it looks like a big pink crystal and then it's got like a metal sort of choker around it it's really nice i like it a lot um i bought it because of the pink handle if it was just brown i probably wouldn't have cared much for it but i really like that it's uh yeah i like that it's pink and that is it. That is the end of my growing wand collection. I'm sure that I will get more wands in the future, but for now, that is what my wand collection looks like. And I'm very fussy with which ones that I want in my collection because I don't, the aim isn't to buy all of them, is to get the ones that I really like the look of and they're 
aesthetically pleasing. So yes, let me know down in the comments if you own any ones, which ones do you already have, or maybe which ones are on your bucket list, because I would absolutely love to know. Also, be sure to leave your Hogwarts house down below, because I like it when you all sort of make friends with each other, all the Gryffindors, though you can make friends with like other people in other houses, that's cool too. But yes, on that note, I am going to go. I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!